Kid Cavella Parlands Media. Uh, we have a very special interview with Arthur Barsley. He is one of the SEC candidates who's uh, running for one of these key seats. Uh, we've done a few interviews with a few other SEC candidates as well. He is also endorsed by Our Revolution uh, Illinois. So, Arthur, thank you so much for joining Hard Lens Media. It's great to be here, Kit. So, essentially, uh, why are you running for this office, and why is it important for our viewers to understand about the SEC, or State Central Committee? I'm running for State Central Committee, men because I believe the, the Democratic Party should be more progressive. They should welcome... Uh, progressive candidates. Uh, it's very important for me to, if, if I'm elected, to put forth a uh, progressive party platform. And if you notice right now, if you logged on to the website, you would find no party platform at all. So that's one of my main big goals. And Because I believe a progressive party platform would help unite the party, because most Democrats are for Medicare for all, raise the minimum wage. Uh, so that's my main goal, is, is to unite the party. So what a lot of people don't know is um, the key role the SEC plays, especially with the Illinois Democratic Party. So let's say, for our viewers, you are able to, let's say our, the Our Revolution Illinois candidates who are running for SEC are able to win those seats and they're in power. Uh, what will be the impact for the Illinois Party as a whole, Illinois Democratic Party as a whole? Well, the main, what, put it this way, the uh, State Central Committee, one of their main goals is to elect the uh, party chairmanship mm -hmm. uh, and to send uh, delegates to the uh, National Convention, which, which is very important. Uh, at the national conventions with the Bernie Sanders campaign, our delegates were treated very unfairly. And uh, so one of the goals would be to uh, choose who goes to the convention. Now, of course, running for office, there's a lot to take into account, especially getting on the ballot. So what were the initial challenges to get your name onto the ballot and to be seen by voters? And has there been any pushback by the Illinois Democratic Party as a whole? Uh, to get on the ballot was actually 100 signatures, and I believe we got, uh, I got close to 200. Mm -hmm. uh, the pushback mm -hmm. from Michael Madigan. Raise, uh, can you please raise it up a little bit higher? Sure. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So uh, that's a picture of you and uh, one of my, uh, another person named Elizabeth Lindquist. Correct. Yeah. We are actually Team 16. We're running as a team mm -hmm. for 16. Uh, this is the... The back, totally false accusations. I'm uh, a progressive Democrat. Uh, I running because Bernie Sanders says run for office, every political position, uh, and it was a last minute decision. I decided to run, and uh, Mike Madigan uh, uh, was he's, he's the uh, chairman of the Democratic Party, and. Uh, and it's basically calling you the yeah. Tea Party of the yeah. left. Now, of, co of course, let's, let's actually go forward in regards to talking about uh, that kind of title that's being put on you and Elizabeth. Because I think what a lot of viewers, uh, especially those who remember the 2016 uh, primaries, that anyone who was progressive, independent, or leaned towards democratic socialism were viewed as a threat to the establishment and that people need to fall in line. Is this something similar to that, to where people are just, or at least the Madigan machine, the democratic machine, is basically saying you need to fall in line, you're, you're, you're not uh, in tune to how politics really work? Is, is that something that you've been seeing with that kind of flyer? Definitely. Uh, he's, uh, I'm surprised he's attacking me to, in the beginning. I'm a, a precinct committeeman. I'm second vice chair of the Democratic Party. He should be using this money to uh, go after Ronna. Uh, it's totally unbelievable. And I am really shocked that the Speaker of the House would even attack me. It's unbelievable. So l let's say, for example, uh, Madigan continues to be the head leader of the Illinois Democratic Party. Can anything progressively get done uh, in regards to fighting for uh, the issues that a lot of Americans and voters want to see uh, put, onto the, put onto the table? Yes, it all depends on how many progressives uh, 
get elected. And uh, there are progressives running in many uh, uh, districts. So it, it can be. It can happen. All right. And going forward, I think for a lot of our viewers who perhaps maybe want to know a little bit more about you, why is it important that you know, the SEC is reformed? It's, like I said, it's, a, it's for me, it's bringing the party together. I, I, I believe if, if we had a progressive platform, uh, right now, many, it's not that many people have left the party. The party has left the people. And what we want to do is bring the party back to the people. That's, that's my main goal. And finally, uh, if people want to learn more about your campaign or volunteer, where can they find you online or social media? Art Barsley for Illinois.com. And uh, you can uh, get all kinds of information. Uh, you can donate to. We could use the funds. And uh, from there, you can actually check out my uh, Facebook page, too. Art Barsley, thank you so much for joining Hard Lens Media. All the best to you on your campaign. And Thanks, to all, Kevin. And to all our viewers and subscribers, peace, everyone. Hard Lens Media.